human body is a biological wonder. One of the greatest discoveries is that our cells contain genes, tiny sets of chemicals within DNA, the blueprint for life. Genes are our friends, but when they become corrupted, they're our foes. Today, understanding genetic defects is a major area of medical research. Finding the cause of human genetic disease is a really complex area of research. Thousands of people across the world work on it. These are the diseases like cancer and heart disease that affect millions of people in the world. And because so many people get these diseases, there are also very many different genetic causes for these diseases, and the complexity just makes it really hard to find the disease genes. But in the quest to learn more, scientists like Kerstin lindblad have turned for help to an unlikely source, man's best friend, dogs. They've discovered our canine friends have a very similar genetic makeup to ours, and that got them thinking. Identify and understand the genes which cause chronic illness in dogs, and perhaps we can understand more about defective genes which cause the same illnesses in humans. This innovative and groundbreaking European project is called Lupa. Dogs get all the same diseases as we do. They get, you know, cancer, heart disease, epilepsy, all those same kind of things. They have roughly the same genes as we do. They go to doctors or veterinary medicine and they have the same environment as we do to a large degree. So they're very similar. With Lupa, we try to understand the genetic component of complex disease using dog, because dogs are suffering from the same disease that we are suffering from, but the genetic is less difficult to understand. Dogs and humans have been close companions for over 15,000 years. About 100 years ago, we started to breed them to improve certain useful characteristics like size, shape and agility to help with farming or hunting. While good for us, the downside for the dogs is that certain genetic illnesses were concentrated in specific breeds. English spring spaniels get breast cancer and Whereas that's not necessarily a good thing for the dogs, we can now use this to understand these diseases and then help both dogs and humans in the process. This is Stella. She's an English spaniel suffering from breast cancer. And she's a prime example of what Lupa's all about. Vets in clinics across Europe aim to collect gene samples from the blood of purebred dogs like Stella. It's a routine process, and for the dogs, it's painless. The great advantage of studying genes in dogs is that they have a similar genetic makeup to us, and they share the same environment. That means the search for the holy grail, the faulty genes causing the illness, is considerably easier. What we do is that we take 100, 100 dogs like Stella, who have breast cancer in the English Springer Spaniel breed, and then we take an equal number of healthy dogs, and then we compare their entire genomes, and we find the region where all the sick dogs' genome look spe special. And then we know that the disease gene is there. Chris Lamprecht is another looper example. Four years ago, she discovered that some of her bobtail puppies developed a mysterious illness. So she decided to go to the vets. They looked uh, uh, to the nose and, and, and to the lungs, uh, and they took uh, examples of it, and also x-rays, and they saw that, that the heart, for example, and other stuff was on the other side of the dog, uh, what not was normal, but was normal for a P PCD. PCD is a genetic disease resulting in the organs occurring on the wrong side of the body. It typically causes infections of the nose and the lungs. It's common in bobtail dogs because intensive breeding has selected this genetic defect within this breed. But it occurs in humans too. In fact, PCD is just one of a number of diseases humans and dogs share and scientists are searching the genes in dogs in a hope to find cures for all of them. 
Here in Liège, Michel Georges is on the hunt for the defect genes responsible for PCD in dogs. He's comparing genes from 20 bobtailed dogs, 15 of which are perfectly healthy and five which are ill. And so what we hope is that the gene that will be identified will also be responsible for some of the human PCD cases, but not recognized as such so far, that it's not discovered in, in the human, because it's more difficult to study PCD uh, in uh, human. However, doctors are aware of the effects of PCD. One major problem occurs in the lungs. Every cell in both dogs and humans has tiny hairs called cilia. In the lungs, these little hairs play an important role. They filter the air breathed in, removing microscopic dirt. Without the cleaning effect of the cilia, dirt builds up in the lungs, inevitably leading to infection. So what you see here on the right is a cross-section through the cilium or a cilium of a healthy dog. And so these, these dark doublets which you see, you can consider that as being the skeleton of the cilium. And that's the way it should look. And when you have it like that, it functions properly and it has the right shape. But in these affected old English sheep dogs, as you can guess here, the structure is abnormal. You know, you don't have this nice circle. You know, the whole thing seems to be disorganized. Looper scientists hope to find a cure for these degenerated cilia in the lungs of PCD patients and also for other life-threatening genetic defects. The particular aim here is to help both man and his best friend. We can do that by developing genetic tests to the genes we find, both in dogs and in humans. And we can also, in the long run, really find new drug targets and therefore find much better, better treatment options for the diseases, hopefully both in dogs and in humans. So it's uh, exciting when you know that people are working on those diseases for a very, very long time and now we are able with our best friend to find the genes responsible for those diseases. Yes, it's very nice to work with in Lupa. As European scientists collaborating in Lupa are discovering, dogs, our closest companions for thousands of years, can also help in the fight against our genetic disorders.